Hello students, good morning to all of you. Today we will discuss about the principles of sports training. So dear students, the training program in sports activity which is very important. Without having the proper training program, the players are not going to have any kind of best performance in different kind of sports activity. So, when the training is given, the players who develops their mental abilities, develops their physical abilities, develops their physical fitness and at the same time they become acute and they become a good players in different kind of sports as well as different kind of games activity. So my dear students, so in these principles of these sports training, as we have understood that it is a systematic ways of having the sports program and when these systematic ways of sports programs are implemented which helps the players to develop the physical fitness. So in order to understand the principles of sports running, there are so many principles which is very important and which are given below. They are such as the principles of continuity as well as the regularity. So any kind of sports as well as in games activity, the regularity of practice as well as the continuity is very important. Without having the continuations of practices in different kind of games as well as in different kind of sports activity, the players who are not going to develop their fully fitness and at the same time they are not going to have the best performance in different kind of sports activity. So there should not be a long break. The players should not be given the long break while the trainings are given, while the practices are happening. During that time there should not be a long break but there should be a regularity as well as continuity in different kind of sports activity and the second principles which we which we see here is that the principles of proper overloading that means a gradual increase in physical activities which is uh, bringing the improvement to the players that means slowly slowly the players should be given these more tasks so that uh, the uh, increasing of physical activities which will help them to have more improvement in sports activity. And the third principle is there should be a specific scientific training. And what is the specific scientific training? So students as we see that there should be a proper scientific ways as for the requirement of the game. So as for the requirement of the game, there should be a proper guidance, there should be a proper trainings, there should be a proper programs that should be given to the player so that the players will learn properly and they will become a good players in different kind of sports activity. So the fourth principle is the individual differences. So the training should be according to the limits of the individuals. So uh, as per the limits of the individuals, there should be a proper trainings. That means if we are giving more overloading and if the individuals has no uh, capacity, then that will affect his sports activity. So we should understand his limits and according to the limits of the individuals this sports training should be uh, they are in different kind of sports activity and the fifth principles as we see that there should be the principles of rest recovery and uh, in this principles of rest and recovery there should be a proper rest relaxations after the hard work so the players must be given a proper hard uh, sorry the players should be given 
a proper relaxation proper rest after the hard work of different kind of games as well as different kind of sports activity and the sixth number of principles is the proper warming up so the training program which which should started with the warming up and after having the proper warming up there should be the games activity and the seventh principles is the principles of progressions so here the program should be uh, having a proper progressions and it should it should start with easy activity and later on it should end with harder activities and the eight principles which is talking about safety and prevention so there is a saying that prevention is better than cure so when we are organizing the sports activity there should be a proper measures proper safety which should be implemented in training program so dear students as we have been talking about the principles of sports training and right now we shall discuss about the psychological feedback the psychological feedbacks which is always motivates the players and which is very important to keep the players in a very enthusiastic ways and when the feedbacks are given especially the positive feedbacks it used to keep the players in a pleasure activity and at the same times when these sports trainings are given during that time the medical checkups which should be uh, done before any kind of hard activity and in case if there is any injuries any kind of injuries which happens to the player during that time proper doctors consultation should be made here and at last as we see that this total body involvement in this total body involvement there should be a exercise which will ensures the body development and at the same time there should be the adaptations and tolerance and in this adaptations and tolerance principles there should be the exercises which should be made by the individuals and after that there should be these adapted to one's tolerance ability so dear students as we see that the proper uh, trainings should be given to the players before they are going to play any kind of games activity so finally my dear children in this principles of training as we have the principles of repetitions and according to these principles of repetitions repetitions uh, there should be a proper workout and the proper work out should be done here with sufficient repetitions so dear students in sports activities the principles of sports training which is very important and when the trainings are given then during that time the players who are going to be very active in different kind of sports as well as in different kind of games activity and at the same times there should be warming up and what is called warming up warming up it is a preparations activity that means before the players when they are going to play during that time they should have the warming up and when the warming up is done during that time the body muscles as well as the physical bodies which is going to be have uh, very heatings and here the heating of the body which should be done with this warming up exercises and by doing this warming up exercises the body which is going to be prepared psychologically to bear the stresses during the time of competitions and at the same time this warming up has two types which is uh, number one psychologically and second one is physiological
so dear students as i have explained to you about the importance of warming up the warming up is very important before the before the gans activity because it prepares the body to take the trace and through the warming up process we are going to be mentally prepared and the whole body movement which is going to have the movement all throughout this warming up process so students as you can see this diagram of warming up and the warming up has two types first one is the psychological warming up which is related to mind and it is physiological warming up which is related to body this physiological warming up which has two divisions one is passive and second one is active in passive we see the external sources in active there is a self performing and in this active self performing again it is having two division first one is general warming up and which is related to the common for all activities and the uh, second one is special warming up so let us discuss first all about the psychological warming up so the psychological warming up which is very important in sports activity because it is preparing the mental attitude of all the players towards the competitions and after that the players who are uh, mentally getting ready throw out these psychological ways they are such as the motivations the feedback the behavior the behavioral changes and all these are very important because it is uh, helping the players to have the best performance and through these activities the performance are going to be increased and next we are going to talk about the physiological warming up and in this physiological warming up it is preparing the body physiologically to take the overload and at the same time uh, it is also helping the players to take the workload of physical stress for the competitions so in this physiological warming up it is having two divisions they are such as the passive as well as the active let us discuss about this physiological warming up which is such as the passive as well as the active so students as we are talking about the physiological warming up which is having two divisions one is passive as well as active so let us talk about the passives so here the players who used to warm up his body throughout the external sources and after that it can be done through various activities or various ways they are such as hot bath sun bath steam bath hot beverages and massage of body and in this active process we see that the players who used to warm up his body throughout the actual participations and in this physical activities he performs the various physical movements which will improve the efficiency of his body through muscles and its duration is only 10 to 30 minutes and in this active uh, process as we see that it is having two divisions first one is general warming up and second one is specific warming up so dear students in this unit we have try to learn about the importance of warming up and at the same times we have learn about the principles of sports training so i hope all of you have understood if you have any doubts kindly uh, ask me and feel free to discuss with me thank you so much